Now we are going to cover the most important question of any interview. In my experience, this is the most asked question in the interviews. What is the difference between an abstract class and an interface? At least four. Why four? Because this is a very important question and it is good to create a good impression on interviewer by telling as much as you can. So let explore, let's explore the differences one by one. First difference is abstract class contains both declaration and definition of methods. Let me show you the code. See, employee class has uh, two methods, project and role. One is declared and another is defined with the body. On the other hand, interface should contain only declaration of methods. Let me show you the code. See here we have two methods, project and manager one. And both are just declared. There is no body of these methods. Now, there is one very interesting point here. As per the latest versions of C Sharp, now C Sharp allows you to define the body of the interface methods also. So, method body is possible in interfaces. But why Microsoft allowed definition or body for methods in the interfaces? The reason, suppose you have a very big project employee management system. Initially, you created this I employee interface there with the declared method. But after one year, you realize that this manager one is a concrete method now. Okay, its implementation is common. Now what to do? If you will change this interface to abstract class, then a lot of co code change will be required in your big project, right? And that will lead to errors also. Therefore, Microsoft allowed method bodies inside the interfaces also. Then you can just define the method here. But, but, but remember, when you are creating the projects from scratch, never use method bodies inside interfaces. Interfaces are for declaration only. If method body is required, rather use abstract classes. That's why I have explained interface should contain declaration of methods only, right? That is the first difference. Second difference is quite obvious and easy. Abstract classes uses abstract keyword and interfaces uses interface keyword. Now, one very important difference is abstract class does not support multiple inheritance in C Sharp. Whereas interface support multiple inheritance. Okay, let me show you the same in code. See, when we are trying to mul trying multiple inheritance via abstract class, then here at the bottom is this error. When we are driving from multiple classes, employee and employee one in the derived class, permanent employee, where uh, as um, if I show you the code, like it is giving error, right? It is showing the error, compile time error. But in case of interfaces, if I will show you, there is no error. It is working fine with multiple interfaces. I employ one and I employ two. One last difference is abstract class can, classes can have constructors. See, we have constructor employ one in abstract class. But interfaces do not have constructors. See, employee one constructor is giving error. It's a compile time error. It is not possible. So here is the summary list of all the differences which we have discussed. Please try to uh, memorize at least three of them and uh, one difference because one difference is not sufficient in interviews when to use interface and when abstract classes in real applications real projects first let's check when to use interface suppose in your project you have two classes permanent employee and contractual employee now you know both these kinds of employee will have some email id and some manager right so you will create one interface i employee and just declare methods assign email and assign manager here Later, you will inherit this I employee interface in both these permanent employee and contractual employee classes. Now, why interfaces are the right choice here? Because every employee must have some email ID or manager. So the declaration in employee interface is mandatory. But the implementation is not clear right now, right? The manager can be different. The email can be different. So an Interface is a good choice when you know a method has to be there in the class, but it can be implemented differently by independent derived classes. That's when we use interfaces. 
it acts like a contract. Next, we will see when to use abstract classes. When to use abstract classes and not interfaces. For example, with classes permanent employee and contractual employee, here we have an abstract cla base class employee dress, where dress code is an abstract method because that implementation we don't know right now because it depends dress code is depends whether employee is a male or female implementation will differ right but this employee dress color method value will always always be blue in any case whether male or female therefore we know the implementation and that's why de we defined the method body here so when to use abstract class abstract class is a good choice when you are sure some methods are concrete or defined and must be implemented in the same way in all the derived classes now one more thing here normally we prefer interfaces because they gives us the flexibility to modify the behavior of methods at later stage so that's why we prefer interfaces